kidding me? Oh my gosh, welcome to the Arkham Online. My name is Michelle. Welcome back. Let's go outside. <laughs> Look at this regular, boring lawn. Think again, it's not. It's not, let's look. So I saw this bee with all this pollen all over his legs and I wanted to draw a little picture of him. So took a snapshot, did the outlines first with pencil, then the under colors with marker and highlighter. Then I used some watercolor. I was just mixing all my mediums today. I used a little bit more marker, uh, brown marker there, watercolor. Just kept layering, trying to really match the tones that I see. You just gotta draw what you see, that's it. And then I overlaid with some oil pastels because they're very thick and it's good to, to draw over top of stuff with them because they're not very uh, transparent. And then some colored pencils over that for the very fine details. I could have spent a lot more time, but that's how far I got. Howdy. This is the point of view of my dog if you were army crawling through the grass. Look at the detail on this standy line. I was blown away. Look at those little, oh, and this, it's like, it's like a Barbie bouquet. <laughs> Callie has tons of detail. If you look close, oh, she even has eyelashes. Look at that. So I decided to draw this as well. Outlines first with pencil, then underline, under, underlying colors with uh, watercolor. I was just winging it, just painting what I saw. And then I realized I can see my neighbor's lawn in her eye. So cool. Hi. So the whites of the eye, not fully white actually. Then I went over top with some oil pastel and some colored pencil for the very fine details. What's under here? Oh, I love ants. I love watching them work. They look so glassy. And look at this grass. It looks so grassy. <laughs> Sorry. But seriously, the tones, beautiful. This little plant was soft like a pillow. Don't step on a bee, don't step on a bee. Lilacs. Flies are actually really beautiful and it, the colors always blow me away. So I'm outlining just the shapes that I see. Then I used some marker just some cheap little Crayola markers, little paintbrush marker to do some of the details. See, when you're drawing something transparent, it's tricky, but you just really have to focus on drawing what you see, and then it will all make sense in the end. Oil pastels over top, colored pencils over top of that for the fine details. The mechanics of the fly are so impressive. can see so much if you look up close. Look how tiny this bug is. Like, can you see that compared to my finger? Oh, forget this guy. Beautiful, but I didn't stick around too long. And this little guy, I was like, I would like to ride in a bus that looked like that. Or maybe in a train that's like that. <laughs> Legs for days. I found this under my step right beside a worm. Worm spaghetti. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it inspires you to go out in your own yards and look closer. 
You never know what you'll find. Mm-hmm.